Pizza or Master or American Express. And then make a bigger, bigger choice. You gotta be comfortable. Trust me, if they are not ready, you know what they will tell you? Oh, wait a minute. I'm not ready to pay right now. Which is okay. At least you've done your part. And then while you are there on how to close, while you're there, you ask them, is there anything that I can help tonight to help me make a decision tonight? Is there any question that you have? But mm, no, not right now. I need some time to think about. That's fair enough. Well, go think about it. And but I do want to get in touch with me. Just let me know. So if this is in, is this for you or is not for you? I'm cool with it. But you gotta be willing to ask a question. And go for the close. Because you know what? This is a story I heard and it really stick to my head. And 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 I thought I thought it was real funny, but it's real pertinent. So I'll share that with you. That this is on closing. Okay, there's a very very rich guy in Texas. He's super wealthy and is he's he's wanna, he's bored. So he want to kind of test on human psychology. Okay, so one day he decided to throw a big huge party at his mansion. Okay, but the night before the party, he had the Olympic sized pool. So he put water moccasin and alligator in the pool. Okay, the night before. So during the party. Then every, the next day, next morning, people start arriving at the party, right? So he gathered all his guests around the Olympic-sized pool. And then he made a, loud, a big announcement. He says, whoever is daring enough to jump into the pool and to swim a pool, across the pool and come up alive, I will grant him or her anything he or she want in life. So, I mean, obviously there's a lot, a lot of people can see alligator markets, water markets in there. So nobody, I mean, it was like, people were scared. But before, I mean, right after making the announcement, Guess what? He heard a loud splash. He heard this guy that was really motivated. He was like swimming record time, and like record time right across the swimming pool. And he came up. And this multi-gazillionaire was so excited. He walked over to him and said, you know what? Excuse me, young boy, young man. Tell me what is it you want. I will grant you anything you want in life. And he says, you know what? Before you grant me anything I want in life, I want to find out the name of that dude who pushed me into the pool. <laughs> <laughs> so, in short, sometimes, sometimes, you see, if you know it's good, why not push, right? <laughs> sometimes in life, we, we do need a little push. It's just like, you know what, 19 years ago, if that guy didn't push me, I would never, I would have never, ever got involved in direct selling because of my wrong perception about this industry, my, my, my wrong understanding of what it was about, okay? So we do need, sometimes we do need a little push. But when you know it's good, why not? It could change other people's life, but don't force them if they're not ready, okay? So that's on closing. Now, the other one is on how to overcome objections. I'll give you the biggest secret, okay? Now, it doesn't matter what it is, I don't have time, I don't have money, I don't like sales, I don't like MLM, I don't like whatever, okay? So whatever that might be. You ready for the big secret? You ready? Yes. All right, thank you, okay. It's called the three F's, okay? The first F stands for feel. Second F stands for felt. The third F stands for found. The first thing you gotta do when people give you an objection, the first thing you gotta do is you have to identify, you have to acknowledge the feelings. Don't go against them. They go, oh, I don't have time. What do you mean you don't have time? You do nothing at home, you watch TV all the time. Don't go butt head with people, okay? Now that's something Tina would do, okay? <laughs> that's an inside joke, okay? But anyway, but don't go butt head with them, okay? Just say, you know what? I know how you feel. So you calm them down, okay? And you say, you know what? You want to relate to them. You say, you know what? I, I felt the same way too. And you share with them how you, how you feel. You, you know, how you truly felt. I mean, maybe when, you, when first someone told you about MLM, you say, you know, I felt the same way. I didn't have time for this, okay? Or I didn't have time, whatever. So you tell them how you felt, okay? The, th the third thing is, but you know what I found out? Here's what I found out. I have worked hard all these years all my life. If after all these years of hard work, I don't even have the money or the time freedom, that means I need to make a change. If I don't make a change, I'll be back the same thing. So that's what I found out. I need to do something different. See, by you saying this way, you get your prospect to listen. Because if you go butthead with them, they ain't gonna listen to you. So you do the, the, the feel foul found. I don't have money. And you know, I get that a lot over the years. And you know what I say to them? I say, you know what, I know how you feel. Because I felt the same way too. 19 years ago, when someone showed me an opportunity, it cost me $6.95 to get involved, 19 years ago. And I said, you know what, I didn't have the money. But here's what I found out. The guy that was showing me the presentation, he said to me, Kim, 
How long have you been working? I said, I worked about 10 years in corporate America. He said, you mean to tell me you went to good schools, you went to UCLA, you went to UC Irvine, after 10 years of uh, hard work in corporate America, you can't even come up with 700 bucks to change your life? He said, you know what? I got news for you. He said, whatever you've been working, ain't working. Now, I didn't like it when someone, a stranger said that to you, to me. But it rang true in my ears. So here's what I found out. If I have worked hard all my life and I can't even come up with money to change my life, I need to make a change. So when you say that, the feel, felt, found, you get people to listen. Your whole objective is you try to let, I mean, everybody has their own opinion, that's all fine. But your goal and objective is try to get them to listen to what you're trying to say to them. But the way you get them to do this, you need to identify and acknowledge how they feel. Now, when they calm down, now you can go tell them how you really feel about this, okay? So the feel, felt, found, almost always worked. The only time I didn't work was when someone's extremely negative, I completely give up. I said, no, listen, you don't need this. You need something else, okay? So feel, felt, found. Okay, that's how you overcome objection. Always use it. Feel, I mean, you know, I've learned a lot over, I mean, everything I've learned in direct selling the last 19 years, it helped me with my life. Not only in terms of business, in anything I do. Many people say, you know what, in direct selling, is allow, enable them to become a better mom, a better wife, a better you know, spouse. I mean, it really is, it really is life changing. You know, obviously, we gotta, you know, you join this in the beginning because of money or wanna get the money issue all the way, then you could do something bigger and better in life, okay? So, this is that. Okay, now, next. Um, we're gonna talk about the ways that you make money, okay, with this opportunity. We make money different ways. The first way we make money is by retailing. That's small money. You know, you buy the product, a wholesale, you sell some product. Most people make the mistake in direct selling is that they join an opportunity, all they do is sell product. You go broke doing that. I mean, you're gone by and say, oh my gosh, what have I done? My business is not growing. Because you're at the retailing mentality. Most people, especially conventional, traditional business owner, you know what they think? I need a storefront, I need to sell my product. Direct selling, network marketing, it's not about you selling product. It's about a lot of people selling a little bit and you override that, okay? But retailing is one of the ways to make money, small money, okay? Second way to make money is called sponsoring. The sponsoring activity will make you the now money, like immediate money. As you go out and sponsor people into the business, you can make anywhere between 25 bucks up to $200. Now why do you need this now money? Because this now money will pay for your gasoline, pays for your effort in driving your long-term residual income. By sponsoring people into the business, guess what it'll do? It will help develop your long-term residual income, okay? So the third type of income is what we call residual income. Residual income, that you once you build your network, you do something one time, but you get paid month after month after month. Now the beauty about our residual income, we get it every day. How many of you get cycle off of auto ship every day? Quite a few of you, okay? It's a wonderful feeling, okay now. So residual income, number one, is what we call cycles, okay? Number two, is what we call matching bonuses. Number three, is what we call diamond, our global pool, diamond pool. Okay, now, so this is not a compensation plan training. We will have a compensation plan training that will teach you on the different ways how we make money. But I wanna give you a quick overview that these are different ways that we make money. Obviously, the big money is right here in the residual income, okay? But you need to start from somewhere by sponsoring people in the business, then you help. This now money will help drive your residual income, okay? Now, I wanna give you just an illustration of what residual income is. And in order for, actually, you know, before I do that, I want to talk a little bit about residual income because this is so important to have the right understanding of residual income. This is a one to two year plan. It's like condensing your work life into one to two years. I mean, if you could achieve financial freedom from, what, from a 50 year work life to one to two years, how many of you like that? If you knew that failing is not an option, how many will give it all you got? See, most people go through life, they're off balance. You go into work, you're off balance. But I'd much rather off balance for a short period of time than off balance for the rest of my life. So 
This is a one to two year plan, okay? Now to build your residual income, this sponsor bonus is great, but the objective of this business is drive a long term residual income. Meaning, in the beginning, okay, this one right here is time. Here's money, okay? This is a picture that will help you anytime you have any doubts, any suspicion, any whatever, you look at this picture, okay? In the beginning, you probably commit a lot of time, but a little pay. I remember 18 years ago, 19 years ago, my first residual check was $14.83. That was my most exciting check. Now obviously many people don't agree with me. My mom and dad thought I went nuts, okay? I was running around the house with that $14 check and something, some change. I said, can you imagine? Can you imagine adding a couple more zero to it? This is residual. And they go, oh my gosh, she's been unemployed too long, okay? I mean, I wasn't excited about $14, but I was excited about the concept of I don't work, but that money keep on coming, okay? So in the beginning, you do a lot of work, but little pay. But once you build a healthy organization, you will get paid for a lot of things that you didn't do because it's already built. I mean, I still remember in a previous company, my residual income a day could be a couple of grand, my previous company. Once you build a healthy organization, you just watch those auto shippers residual income, boom, 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 boom. And when you have a product as powerful as this one, I'm telling you, you just watch some amazing residual income that could come when you build a solid, healthy organization, okay? So just remember, this is a one to two year plan. If you wanna come in today and get rich overnight, you know, I, I think you have a lot more chance buying the lotto than getting rich overnight. Although, I mean, although many of us have quick successes, but we work hard at what we get. I mean, I don't know too many businesses. You know, you work hard for 16 months, it gives you a high, a middle, a mid, uh, uh, how many digit? Uh, five digit number. I don't know too many that they can do that, okay? Now, so, that's it. Is it six or five? No, a week, I'm sorry. How about a week? Five digit a week. <laughs> No, five digit a week. I'm talking about, see, we get paid every week, so I only look at weeks, not months, okay? Uh -huh. All right, so now, uh, okay. So with that, would you like to know the new exciting thing that's gonna come about on February 1st? Yes. Okay, all right. <clears throat> February 1st, we're targeting February 1st, okay? <coughs> now, you all know about the cycles, right? The cycles, okay? How much is a cycle? One can earn per cycle. How much is that? 40, 40. 40 right? Okay. So this is how it works. You, and, and, and I really want to drive the concept through as I believe this is very, very important, okay? <clears throat> when you build a residual income, the best way I can describe to you is like this. <laughs> by recruiting, why by recruiting? If you have two bees, bumblebees, and bees are excited bees, right? Two bees start buzzing, they become excited, they start coming together. Now when you have two working bees coming together, what would the two working bees attract? They will attract other working bees. As other working bees, they start attracting each other and before you know it, all the bees, they build a what? A beehive, right? Now when you have a beehive, you cut open the beehive, what do you find in there? Honey, those are your customers, that's your residual income, that's your loyal user. That's the reason why I don't go get customers. I go get partners. Because the, the natural process, if they turn me down from a business partner, guess what? I will, they will become my customer. Or if they become my partner, they will become a loyal user. Okay? So now, so let's say that over time, and, and a cycle is how it works right now, right? You have 300 CV and 600 CV, okay? Collectively, doesn't matter by whom, all the way down to infinity, 300 and 600, you will get, you can get a $40 per cycle. This is of other people's effort. Now, here's the deal. We have a, um, we have an enhancement that's gonna come out, okay? And that's gonna come out on February 1st. And I believe those of you that are driving the business, you're gonna see amazing increase on your check, okay? This is how it works. How many of you would like to increase this $40 to a $50 per cycle? Yeah. Nice, huh? Okay. So there's a chance you can, there's no change. Your comp plan is still the same. But there's a compensation plan enhancement. Not only will it drive the cycle to $50, okay, it will also help drive your residual income. Okay? This is how it works. 
we have a program because you know what? Over the last 16 months, remember we talked about we're in the constant concentration stage? We already found the niche, okay? And we found a lot of people every month, they don't use one box of reserve. They use two boxes of reserve and two luminous, okay? And so we found that the product is very consumable. So for those people who want to elect to be a part of the 180 club, they can cycle at $50 and on the matching of the people underneath them that are cycling, you can also match their $50 as well. If you elect to be the 180 club, what's 180 club? Right now, the auto ship is how many BV a month? 60. 60, right? But if you elect to be 180 club, that means you yourself do the auto ship of 100 BD, 180 BV. Whenever you cycle, you don't cycle at 40. You will cycle at 50 for doing the same work. I mean, my household, between me and my husband, we use about four bottles of Luminous a month. Box of reserve, I don't even count. I mean, I'm almost like every other week, I'm opening a box of reserve. So, that consumability of it. Now, if you have 180 BV, you get a cycle of 50. Now, on your levels, remember level one, level two, level three, if you are part of the 180 club, whoever in your organization, they are also at the 180 club, whatever they cycle at 50, you will match whatever that percentage of $50. But if you, you don't have to do 180 club. If you elect to choose a 60, that's okay. If you do a 60, whatever level you're matching, you don't match 50, you only match 35. Okay, because that's a real cycle. So if you are part of 180 club, not only would you cycle at $50, but whomever in your group that's cycling at 50, you get matching at 50. That's a whole lot of increase. It's going from $35 to $50 on the matching. It's a huge increase. Can you imagine it will help drive your residual income? I mean, just you will drive your check through. I'm going to give you a perfect example. Let's say that, I don't know, a year from now, okay, you have 100 people on one side and 300 people on the other side. Now, this is a training. There's no guarantee of income, but I want to give you an illustration of how that would, could work. <clears throat> you have 100 people, that's an auto ship. On the other side, you have 300 people on auto ship, okay? Now, these people, you might not even know. It could be your upline, put people underneath you. It doesn't matter. You have 300 people on one side, and you have 100 people on the other side, okay? Now, if let's say that they're all part of the 180 club, okay? 180 CV a month, right? Talk about residual income, okay? Now, you have 18,000 on one side, right? Here, you have, what, 36,000? Uh, whatever that is. You type that times 180, okay? Now, you take this 18,000 divided by how many points per cycle? 300. So now you have 60 cycles here. If each cycle pay you $50, how much is that? $3,000 residual a month if you have 100 people. Well, what if you have 1,000 people on auto ship? You put another zero right here. You see what I'm saying? You just plug in whatever number that make you, they can, I do a very minimal. Very minimal. If you have 100 people that you don't know, but every month they buy 180 BV. And the other side, you have 300 people that buy 180 BV. That's residual income. Not talking about recruiting, bringing new people, no. When you have educate your consumer to be loyal consumer, that they fall in love with the product, they're getting results from the product, that's how you drive long-term residual income. So, I mean, what if you have 1,000? What if you have 10,000? I mean, it's possible. I mean, imagine before two and a half, two and a half years to over 200,000 distributor. As consumable as this product line, it could be tremendous. But I just use a very low number so that it will spark your imagination, okay? So, you guys getting this? So this, this feature will be turned on on February 1st. If you want to be a part of this 180 club on February 1st, you have to indicate that you have to opt in. You want to be a part of 180 Club, and you can set up the auto ship, and on your auto ship date, it will run It will run that 180 on your auto ship date, okay? And so those of us that already have prepaid auto ship, so when they run the 180 on, the, on your prepaid auto ship, that 60 BV, it will automatically go to the, your, your week leg for you to get paid. Okay, so that your person brought you in will be able to explain more detail to you. So um, it is a phenomenal tool. I really believe 2011, this is going to be a great, great start for us. So this will happen 2011. Now, for brand new people, if you're brand new, you just join us. You cannot cycle at 50 until your second, until your second month. 
because the first 30 days is no auto ship, right? So on, uh, on your 31st day, when you do the one, 180 BV, then from that month on, you could cycle at 50. But your first month, since you didn't buy the 180 BV, you are not going to get the 50 cycle, okay? So this is the, the, the exciting stuff, all right? Now, last but not least, I want to talk about vision. And now, <clears throat> this is where you are now, and this is where you want to go, okay? And I, I hope this morning session had painted enough a picture to realize that, you know, from point A to point B of what you want to, this is your goal. This is where you want it to go. This is where you are now. From point A and point B, we all have a vehicle that we use in life to make money, to generate income, okay? If your vehicle is not going to take you to where you want to go, I would suggest you find another vehicle. It doesn't have to be Jeunesse. It could be anything that turns you on. Change your vehicle. If this vehicle is broken, invest in yourself to get you another vehicle to get you to point B. Because you know why? This is life. This is from birth, and this is when we check out, when we finish, okay? Wherever you are now, okay, let's say we live an 80, 90 year, year span, wherever that might be. You look at this picture where you want to go. Look, wherever you are on this lifespan line, I hope that you wake up and say, you know what, I need to do something. If I meant to do something in life, I need to do it now. Not way into I'm too gray and old, okay? If you could, you, you could talk to people, you could make this happen. So wherever your lifespan is, you say, Look, listen, whatever I've done with my life so far, I need to make a change. The first thing is awareness. I'm aware I need to make a change. Then the second thing is real, realize that you have to make a change. And the third thing is I have to be open to a change. See, this has to come from you. You know, all the, the, this, to succeed, it requires 200%. 100% from what is it, the five pillars, from the opportunity. And the other 100% has to come from what? You. It has to come from us. Okay? So this is where you are now. This is where you want to go. So how many of you ever stretch a rubber band? When you stretch a rubber band, is it uncomfortable? Yeah. A little bit. Because it might snap. Right? So as you stretch, it's a little bit uncomfortable. But it's, it's, this is exactly how you are right now. We are now, the current circumstances, and we want to go there. Okay? I mean... Yeah, when we check out, okay, not now, okay? <laughs> so, eventually, okay? So we wanna go, the, the vision, the future, okay, now. So, when you stretch that, it's a little bit uncomfortable. Just realize that along the way, along the way, you will find there's, there's distractions. There's distractions in life, distractions in anything we do. There's distractions. There might be disappointments. There might be frustrations. There might be emotional roller coaster, ups and downs. Your friend want to join you, your friend want to cancel, your friend said they will show up, your friend didn't show up, your friend canceled. These emotional roller coasters, part of it. But you have to keep your eye on your goal. You have to keep focused and never ever give up. When you stretch a vision, it is uncomfortable. But you know what, just know that when you focus, when you believe, really, really, really believe, and never give up, always take massive action. I mean, persistence. Don't just do something a few days and disappear for a few days. If you don't do something, you're gonna commit to yourself. And to, to the person who brought you here, say, listen, I need you to help me accountable. I need you to hold me accountable and commit me for the next six months. Do whatever it takes to succeed. When you keep that vision, when you keep that vision near and dear to your heart, doesn't matter where you are, you will achieve it. But just know that and embrace that along the way, there may be some stumbling blocks, there may be, it's okay. It's all part of the process. Because it is life, it is a golden rule. I mean, the golden rules in, in, in recruiting and anything else is that what we call the four SWs, right? Some will. Remember the four SWs? Four SWs, one N, right? Some will, some won't. So what? Someone's waiting. Next. There are always someone waiting. You have no idea who, who's next that want to change your life. You have no idea who's next. They're really like, like as if lightning strike, I'm like, woo, I woke up now. I mean, I really woke up along the way. 
as a human being. I mean, how many of you saw the movie Matrix many, many years ago? Okay, Matrix, you know, I mean, that was my first awakening. I mean, like most people are like in society getting up, going to work. It's like there's a scene that really spoke to me. It's that most people are like zombies, like robots in and out of life. But it took somebody to break through. Say, you know what? I got the code. I broke through. I am the one. You could be the one that break through, break free from all that mundane thing that we get so caught up with daily living. See, I really believe it's, 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 the, the society has gotten to a point, I believe. It, it's a point of awakening that, you know what, we got to do something more meaningful. There, there's got to be something more meaningful than the daily, let the daily life living, living out of you, getting the life out of you. There's got to be something better. And so as you go through that journey of awakening, you can do something more meaningful. I mean, I want you really, and not to put down your job or your business, really look at your daily life and, and the work that you do. I mean, we all love our family. We all love, you know, taking care of the family. But the kind of work that you do, is it consuming you? Or are you, are you being consumed by it? Or is it giving you purpose and a sense of meaning? See, only you know that. You know, obviously, we don't want you to go tomorrow and go to your job and I'll quit your job. No, 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 don't do that, okay? You gotta, you know, but work harder on yourself than your job. Because if we don't, that lifespan, wherever you are, when would you want to make that change? When would you want to make that happen? And so, when you stretch that, it will be uncomfortable. But I tell you what, it is the most rewarding thing I do. I mean, I often ask myself, what would I, I mean, I am blessed at a point in my life I can do anything I want. But there's nothing else I would do different. My husband said, you know, Kim, you're a workaholic. I got up at 4 o'clock this morning. My husband said, you know, you're a workaholic. I, I said, this, I love what I do. And when you love what you do, you know, it just, it just shows in your work. And, and not too often in life you get to do what you love to do. You get to help other people touch your life and change your lives. And at the same time, you got paid awesomely by it. And you get reward awesomely by it. You know, so it is a true, true blessing of what direct selling has given me. And I do hope that through my example, um, it will help inspire other professionals to join this cause because it is a phenomenal ground. It is true, there are some bad raps out there about network marketing, but you know what? There are also some great companies out there that are making a difference in people's lives. And so I hope that this seminar, this workshop, it, it, it's a means of helping you to realize, you know what? It is okay to be, and be proud of what you got a hold of. And you know, and, and really, the process of awakening and say, you know what, we could do something different collectively. If you don't need money, there's many, many people that they can use our help. And so, and, and in closing, I want to share this with you is that, you know, some of you heard this story and some of you maybe haven't, but the last Christmas, I spent a very meaningful a holiday with my son and my husband and we went to Bali and we went to Vietnam and, and it, it, it's, it just, it's, it's like as if it's coming a full circle. I mean, 19 years ago, I got started direct selling. It was for means of survival. I need to make money because I got downsized. I had a house in North San Gabriel. I had a brand new Mercedes back at that time. And I was three months away from losing all that. You know, when you got, you, you just, when you got downsized, I mean, I never thought one day I'd be downsized. But when it happened, I didn't know what I was gonna do. And I didn't even know how I was able to manage to keep all those credit cards, all those debts along the way. I mean, I thought at a job, if you make 100000 a year back at those times, it's pretty good, right? I thought I was doing pretty good 100000 a year as a corporate executive. But guess what? When the, the acts came, I was lost. I didn't know what to do. So I got involved in direct selling in the beginning. It was for money, for survival. I need to keep my means. I need to keep my lifestyle. I need to keep my house. And so, but along the way, it gave, me, it gave me purpose in life. It gave me meaning. So once you get the money issue out of the way, it's like you want to do more. I don't know, it's just you become more loving. It's hard to describe that feeling. But when I was, um, so I took my son uh, uh, to Vietnam. And so uh, me and my son and then Winnie went with me. And so we went to visit the school that I built a couple of years ago. And I tell you, the feeling I got when I got off the van, it took about an hour and a half to drive into the deep village. And when we got off the van, I, it just tears just rolled down my eyes because it was it was a little, very small gesture, things that I thought I did, a small gesture of kindness, but I didn't know the lives that it impacted. I mean, that, that school housed 153 children, ages from 7 to 11. 
I mean, and because of that school, the government had moved some of the older schools and built a brand new school for uh, high school and, and the other school right next to it. So, meaning I wanted, the reason I want to share with you is not to brag, don't get me the wrong way, is that you have no idea. Sometimes a mere act, you make me think, oh, I'm just recruiting somebody. Maybe through this kind of work, you may be able to touch other people's lives and save other people's lives. We have many, many amazing, amazing testimonials. Some of you perhaps saw in Yuku or YouTube. I mean, mostly right now it's in Chinese because Ta Taiwan is just smoking right now with amazing, amazing results. And we are now in America, in the North America, getting great results as well. And so what I share with you is really whole, take your dreams near and dear to your heart and believe believe that you could do it because 19 years ago each and every single one of you had more money than I did I was broke but you know what because of this platform I become a multi-millionaire and I say that in, in, very humbly to you I mean I, when I was working on my material and uh, it, it really it ha it's very satisfied feeling because I've seen a lot of trainers to talk about income and expenses and most people only do train but I'm blessed to realize that you know what I'm at a point in my life financially it's like no worries that is a great feeling and being able to also help other people to do the same thing when I heard from Tina and Samson and, and, and Winnie and, and other people how I mean Jason in Taiwan how well they're doing financially it's like you have no idea it's like watching your kids when your kid become very successful and very famous and very well you become very proud and very happy well that's the feeling and so I do hope that it, it, this seminar this workshop gives you the know-how but more imp importantly it gives you the belief and that inspiration of going a step further, doing something with your life. Now, I do hope it's Janess. If not, find something. Find something that fires you up. It's okay. Go through that journey. There might be ups and downs. It is part of the process. It's a journey. So hang on tight. Plug your people in here because it's these events that will help drive your business to the next level. And so um, well, to close with that, we have, this is a February schedule of all the events that we have. When your people sign up, right then and there, give them on a flyer. Have them plug in the next one. And also get a DVD. I, I think we only got limited of these DVDs right now, but we can order some more. These DVDs, get your people to get them trained right away, okay? If not for the business, people will do it for health. People will, will use the product for health, okay? So I hope it's meaningful. I hope it's helpful to you. And I do hope to see you very soon on Tuesday right here in Rosemead. And today's what? Tuesday. Ah, Tuesday. Uh, tonight! Okay, tonight right here. And then Thursday is at the, no, tomorrow, tomorrow morning in Walnut, Thursday, Walnut, yeah, I forgot already, okay, so anyway, I mean, when you get up, I mean, I, I literally sleep about three hours a day, okay, but I love what I do, so with that, I thank you very much, and hope to see you all soon, thank you very much.